Hello, good morning. Ngayon pong umaga ay tatalakay natin ang uh, continuation about conversion. So, last time, uh, ang ginawa natin is uh, from fraction to decimal and into percentage uh, conversion. So, ngayong araw naman, ang gagawin natin is a reverse process. We will start from a decimal value and then we will convert it into percentage, then finally into fraction. So, pabalik naman siya. So, let's have, uh, let's use the sample last time para mas masunda natin. Halimbawa, meron tayong decimal na 0.5. Okay? So, if we have this value, 0.5, ang unang gagawin natin dyan, uh, we know that in order to convert a decimal into percentage, we move two places to the right. Kasi uh, ang 100, if we're discussing about the percentage, ang 100 ay mayroong uh, two decimal places. That's why from 0 0.5, from 0 0.5, we, something like this, 0 0.5, then move two places to the right, and then finally, we have the 50%. Okay? So, that's 50%. So, from here, uh, from this given value, 0 0.5. Ang ibig sabihin niyan, we have one decimal place here. So, for us to get the uh, equivalence of that into fraction, ang gagawin natin, yung 0 0.5 natin will become 5 over 10. So, why 5 over 10? Because again, ang 0 0.5 ay merong isang decimal place. So, 10 has one decimal, I mean, 10 has one zero. Kaya yung 0 0.5 natin is also means 5 over 10. So, if we have this value, 5 over 10, again, dito na naman natin magagamit yung pagkuha ng GCF. So, we know that the GCF of 5 in 10 is 5. So, they are both divisible by 5. 5 divided by 5 will give us 1. And 10 divided by 5 will give us 2. And finally, our fraction is 1 half or 1 over 2. Dahil dito sa 5 over 10. Or, there is another way also. Halimbawa, uh, from percentage, we could rewrite it as 50 over 100. Because we know, we know that 50% uh, is uh, over 100. Dahil ang percentage is dealing with 100, di ba? So, that's why 50 over 100. Or, the 0 0.50 is also equivalent. Let's say, for example, this one, 0 0.50. Because as we know, 0 0.5 and 0 0.50 are equal. It, but uh, it just happened that this 0 here is insignificant. If we are going to include that, magiging two decimal places tayo. Kaya magiging 50 over 100. Because of these two decimal places, we have 1, 2. So, 50 over 100. Or from this 50%, it means that it is 50 over 100. And again, if, we, uh, if we're going to get the GCF of this, of these two numbers, 50 and 100, that's 50. So, 50 divided by 50 is 1. 100 divided by 50 is 2. So, the same output or the same result. So, that's how we get decimal into percentage and, in the, and then into fraction. So, ganun lang siya kadali. So, let's have another example. Yung katulad last time, yung 0 0.25. So, we will do the reverse process. So, if we have 0 0.25, uh, move two places to the right. The same procedure. 0 0.25, move two places to the right. So, that will give us 25%. Okay? 25, I'm sorry, 25%. So, that's 25%. So, 0 0.25 has two decimal places. Which means that it is also equal to, into fraction, that is equal to 25 over two zeros. 25 over 100. Because again, 0 0.25 has two decimal places. Kung baga yung number of digits inside this uh, decimal point. So, 25 over 100, the GCF of these two numbers is 
25. 25 divided by 25 is 1. So, cancel, then it becomes 1. And then, 100 divided by 25 is 4. And therefore, our fraction equivalent of that is 1 fourth or 1 over 4. Again, another example. Let's say we have 0 0.75. 0 0.75. The same procedure. Move two places to the right because uh, if we're dealing with percentage, it means that it's 100%. So, from here, 1, 2, we have uh, 75 point or 75.0 or 75%. Okay. So, 75% or 0 0.75, we have two decimal places here. So, that is why that is also 75 over 100. But this one is not yet on its simplest form or lowest term because 75 and 100 uh, are both divisible by 25 because that is the GCF of that. So, cancel 75. 75 divided by 25 will give us 3. And then 100 divided by 25 will give us 4. And therefore, finally, the equivalence of the fraction of that is 3 fourth. So, this is the final answer for 0 0.75. So, that's how we do or uh, how we convert decimal value into percentage and into fraction. So, let's have another example here. Uh, okay. Conversion from decimal to percentage and then to fraction. What if we have this decimal value, 0 0.125? So, the same procedure, 0 0.25, in order to get the percentage value of that, you move two, place, two places also because we're, we're dealing with percentage or 100%. So, that's 1, 2. So, finally, we have here the decimal point or the 12 point five percent so that is the percentage uh, although it's in decimal point but that is percentage value or percent value so given this one point one two five so one two five or point one two five has three decimal places one two and three which means that one twenty five over we have three zeros here or over 1,000 because this has three decimal places. So, 125 over 1,000. So, we know that the GCF of 125 and 1,000 is 125 because they are both divisible or can be divided by 125. When we divide 125 by 125, it will give us 1. If we divide, if we divide 1,000, the, uh, by uh, 125 will give us 8 and therefore the simplest form or lowest term fraction of 125 over 1000 is 1 over 8 again 0, uh, 0 0.125 is 12.5 percent and 1 8 in fraction 125 over 1000 or 1 8 in its simplest form Okay, let's have an or if we are not uh, or if we haven't gotten already the the GCF. Let's say for example we have here one two five over one thousand, and then uh, we were not able to get uh, the one hundred twenty five as the GCF. Let's say for just uh, estimation or estimate. 125 is uh, divisible by, we know that 125 is also divisible by 25, the same as uh, 1,000. So, 125 divided by 25 will give us 5. And 1,000 divided by 125, I mean 20, 25, is 40. Okay? So, 5 over 40 is not yet in lowest term or in simplest form. Because 5 and 40 are divisible by 5. 
And therefore, 5 divided by 5 equals 1. And then 40 divided by 5 equals 8. And finally, the lowest term is 1 8. So the same as this. We still come up with the same answer. Another example. Let's say our decimal value is 1.25. Okay? So 1.25, the same step. We move two places to the right. So 1.25, move two places to the right. Meaning to say, we have 125%. So this is already more than the 100%. So, if we have 1.25, that's greater than 1, meaning to say greater than 100%. So, if we're going to convert that into fraction, 1 is already here, and then plus the decimal value, which is 0.25. So, 0.25 is also equivalent to 25 over 100. Okay? So, let's move here. So, 1 plus 25 over 100 is also equivalent to 1 plus, so we can cancel this first. 25 divided by 25 because that is the GCF of 25 and 100. 25 divided by 25 is 1. 100 divided by 25 is 4. So, that is 1 plus 1 fourth or the final answer is 1 and 1 fourth. So, that is the fraction or this is a mixed number format. Mixed numbers because we have whole, uh, one whole number here and a fraction here. You can also convert that. Since that is a mixed number, if we convert that into fraction, that will give us an improper fraction value. So, how to convert that, let's say 1 and 1 fourth. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5, and then copy the denominator. Meaning to say, that is 5 over 4. Okay? So, either 1 fourth or... 5 over 4. That's the final answer for a 1.25 for a 1 decimal value and 125% value. So, in fraction, that is 1 and 1 fourth or 5 over 4. So, I hope uh, you understand it and uh, you got the, you got the simplest uh, way of getting these values.